is Monday and it is the 10th of August. We're going to go to Hastings today um, to the English um, heritage site of the Battle of Hastings. Uh, we're just trying to do anything to distract ourselves from the heat. It's about 32 today. Um, so at least for an hour there and an hour back, we'll be in the air conditioning of the car. <laughs> so we're going to go and uh, we, we've, Dan and I have both been, no, Dan's not been to battle, but I have. Um, and Lily, I went on a school trip, but she can't remember. Uh, and I went many, many years ago. So we're looking forward to visiting that today. We've got a picnic. Uh, we're going to stop and get a baguette on the way and going to try and film a little vlog as we go. These wooden sculptures line the footpath as you walk around the battle site. They are of Norman and Saxon soldiers. They're very detailed. On this very spot, on the 14th of October in 1066, a battle was being fought between the Anglo-Saxon English, led by King Harold, and the Normans, led by William the Conqueror. The battle was long, it went on from very early morning until the evening and ended after the death of King Harold. It was a pretty bloody and gruesome event, even by medieval standards. And it's really hard to believe that it happened standing here now on this very peaceful but blazing hot day. In 1071, William, who was now King of England, founded Battle Abbey to atone for the carnage of the conquest.
my hair is very, very frizzy because I am very, very hot. Um, it is now the next day, it is Tuesday. Uh, by the time we got home yesterday, we were good for nothing. It was just so hot that we turned the garden hose on and the sprinklers and just soaked ourselves to cool off and that was about all we were good for really. So it's the next day and I've just finished um, uh, de-husking and shelling all of the cob nuts that we bought. In fact, I have a little bit of cob nut dust on the camera. Um, so I was just going to show you what I'm going to do with them in order to make them a tasty little snack. I don't want to put the oven on, so what I'm going to do to them involves the microwave, but I'll show you that in a moment. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about them. So cob nuts are basically a form of hazelnut. Um, it's a, it's um, a cultivated hazelnut. Um, you can get them, you can grow them anywhere, but the majority of them in the UK are grown in Kent. Um, so they tend to be known as Kentish cob nuts. Um, Dehusking and shelling them is a pain and they are prone to get maggots in them as well. So I did find uh, a few nasty little surprises as I was de-shelling um, de them and those ones have gone in the compost. Anyway, I have um, whittled it down to about 110 grams of lovely fresh cob nuts. So let's show you what I'm going to do. I'm just cutting them in half lengthwise um, to make them go further really but also just as a extra double check against any creepy crawlies that might be lurking although I think it would be highly unlikely um, they tend to crawl into the um, nut shell and then start feeding away at the nut themselves so as soon as you crack open the nut and see that it's um, it doesn't look like a whole nut it's more like a brown powder you know that it's been got at and you'll usually find a lurking creepy crawly munching away right my nuts are all ready and i'm going to add about sort of tw about 20 grams of salted butter So I'm going to add just a little bit of additional salt and I'm going to go and put this in the microwave for three minutes and then give it a stir. Right, we're about halfway through the first three minutes and I realise that I probably need to put this in a shallower dish so that the butter is completely covering. Um, well, at least not um, submerging some and not others. So I'm just going to change the dish. Put them in a shallow dish. And stick it back in for another couple of minutes. And see how they get on. Okay, so this is after a couple more minutes. They're looking good, but I want them to be sort of crispy and they're not quite crispy. So I'm going to put them in for probably up to another three minutes. I don't want them to burn, so I'm, oh, I'm going to keep checking. So I'm going to put them in for three minutes, but maybe check them every minute. They smell nice. I went all dark then. Mm, they are yum. You'll have to stop eating those and save some for everybody else. Um, so that concludes our vlog. Um, if only cob nuts had been grown prior to the 16th century in Kent, maybe the English army could have sustained themselves and given themselves more strength. And maybe England today would look very, very different. But would that be a bad or a good thing? <laughs> That's a discussion for another day. I hope you enjoyed our little trip into history and our little walk around in the height and heat of summer and I'll see you again for another adventure soon.